special song for you first before we kick things off. You ready, Dan? Um, okay. We rehearsed this slightly. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Let's let this play for a little bit, bring you into the Christmas spirit. Okay, there we go. Okay, it says you're live on Facebook. I am. Okay. That's that's Johnny Mathis, and uh, that's that's dedicated to my wife, Mary Jo. She just loved Johnny Mathis. He was a fabulous, fabulous entertainer to work for. I was with him for about off and on about ten years back in the '70s, and wow, what a what a fantastic voice. Anyhow. This is our first of two hour special. I love spending Saturday mornings talking with you about real estate and music and now the Christmas holiday is upon us. This morning is very special. I added it up and you know what? This is my ninth annual Christmas show for the Dragonfly Foundation. I, I only thought it was eight, Gary. I thought it was only eight too, but I went back and you know what? I found the very first one it was in 2011. So it's 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Nine years. Wow. That's great. Congratulations. <laughs> Unbelievable. Nine years we've been doing this show. And, uh, and it's all for the Dragonfly Foundation. And, I mean, I, I just can't say enough or do enough to, to help them. I just think they're absolutely what, what a fantastic organization. And uh, before we get into too much, give you folks a chance to win either a $25 off or a $50 off a full truck load discount card with Junk King, or you could choose to take a $10 gift card to Starbucks, whichever one you choose. But the first three callers with the correct answer to this question, name for me two of the top 12 most recorded Christmas songs. That's pretty easy. That's pretty easy. 513-563-1480. <laughs> If you are listening or if you're watching on Facebook, we are live now on Facebook. Uh, two of the top 12 most recorded Christmas songs, call us up and you can pick your choice of a $50 off full truckload from Junk King or a $10 gift card to Starbucks. But um, yeah, looking back at 2019, we're, we're going to look at that and we're going to try and make some predictions for 2020. I've got a uh, whole slew of friends here this morning. Uh, first off is Bill Kerrigan. Kerrigan. And uh, you were going to bring your son, but he wasn't uh, feeling quite right, Patrick. Wasn't quite up to speed this morning, that, so. Uh, that's fine. Rather him stay home than to bring his germs in. Absolutely. The, <laughs> in, Especially these, today. Yeah, right, because we're going to have uh, a, a whole uh, studio full of. Whoops. Almost. There we go. Now they got the studio audio. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, full uh, studio full of uh, dragonfly families. Looking forward to it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, uh, are you ready for Christmas? I am ready for Christmas. Um, That's what I'm, everybody asks. I'm, so usually, I'm <laughs> usually hustling to the last minute, but I feel pretty prepared this year, which is great. Yeah, yeah. That's I'm going to try to relax and enjoy it. <laughs> I hear you, yeah. So, um, it, how about your what you you were introduced to the Dragonfly Foundation? What about three four years ago? Three years ago, it's coming up on three years, Kerry. Yeah, and you're just one of the big big I'm, volunteers. I'm a, I'm a member of the board of directors, mm -hmm. and uh, also do uh, quite a bit of volunteering and uh, uh, fundraising for the right. for the organization. So uh, we just love them. I'm, I'm like you. I'm I'm amazed by the work that they do, and. Uh, you know, no one stretches a, a dollar farther than Rhea and Christine. They, they really, they really do a phenomenal job as stewards of the of the organization and all the good work they do yeah. for the families. I think that's one thing that a lot of people don't understand is that they don't just serve the children; they're serving the entire families. Well, our whole community, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, what what they do for the children and their families affects everyone around them. No doubt about it. That's that's the way life is. You yep. know, that's um, it. 
And yeah, I always tell Ria. I says, Ria, it doesn't matter how many fundraisers or how much money you 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 make. That you're never going to have enough. You're never going to have enough. Yeah, because that's part of being a nonprofit with that does fundraising. That's right, and that's what it's all about. So. If you're tuning in, listening, if you're on Facebook watching and you want to know what, we, if you haven't heard about the Dragonfly Foundation, you've, you've been living under a rock or you haven't been <laughs> <laughs> been paying attention of too much what's going on in Cincinnati because they got those huge, somebody asked me about this, maybe you can answer this, they said, um, I saw the, the big billboard and all it has is Dragonfly. Has, doesn't have the website, doesn't have a phone number, doesn't say anything, just says Dragonfly. Yeah. They've they've gotten to that point where that's all they need to do, right? That's the brand. Absol- absolutely. When people see it now, they recognize it and they connect it with the amazing work that they're doing. So mm-hmm. um, it's uh, it's neat to see those billboards all over town and uh, and it just uh, it makes you it's a, it's just a reminder that uh, the organization's doing amazing work and they need support. Yeah. They said they should have at least have their website on there. I says, well, no. I mean, everybody knows what Dragonfly go, is. Go to Google and type in Dragonfly. You'll have no problem finding it. Exactly so. right. <laughs> Very cool. So your son does some amazing work, too. He's at uh, St. Xavier High School. He's at St. X. He's a junior. Uh, his name's Patrick Kerrigan. And um, he was looking for a way to make an impact. He'd been involved with... Uh, uh, volunteering for the Dragonfly Foundation for a couple of years, and uh, he has since started a group at St. Xavier of uh, boys that come out and volunteer, and uh, everything from helping uh, the Dragonfly do the fall cleanup at their at their landing. Um, they uh, volunteered to run games at Get a Fest to play with the kids, mm-hmm. and uh, they just um, they they sort of raise their hand and, and try to do something at least once a month to support the organization. And uh, you, you'd be surprised, Gary. There are a lot of high school groups with amazing volunteers that I support know. the organization. Yeah. Well, look what that group of kids at uh, Saint uh, not Saint Sycamore. At, uh, Sycamore High School does. Oh my God, the fashion show. And they're raising thousands and thousands of dollars. Bunch of money, yeah. Uh, it's unreal. And we're not at St. X. We're not. Uh, we're not uh, up to that speed yet. Mm-hmm. But we're gaining momentum, and uh, the boys really look forward to it. But you know, what Rhea always says, and, and I know if she was sitting here right now. She'd say, "Every five dollars means as much as that five thousand dollars." It does. It does. And, uh, you know, a lot of what sustains us is people just going to uh, dragonfly.org and punching the donate button and, and giving what they can give. Mm-hmm. I mean, and, and like you said, you know, $5 goes a long way. Uh, $50 is wonderful. But but it's really, you know, it's about engaging more people uh, to the cause. And because the work we're doing yeah. is, is just wonderful. Oh, here's a thought. If you're listening in right now, get your smartphone out and just text the word WINGS15 to 71777. There you go. That $5 will go a million miles. Absolutely. That's all we need. No doubt about it. WINGS15 to 71777. Do it right now. If you wait till later, you'll it'll slip your mind or whatever. But just you got your smartphone out right now, just do it. If you're watching me on Facebook, pause me. Go to <laughs> go to your texting system and text the word wings fifteen to seven one seven 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 and just just five bucks. That's all we need. Five dollars to make today worthwhile. This hour of the Rock and Roll Real Estate Hour is brought to you today by WDJO Radio. Thank you, Robert Nolan, Gary Stevens. I'd like to say thanks to my producer Dan Gettlefinger, and assisting him is producer Kevin Kenny and chief engineer Bob Flesick. And he's got Bo and Baxter and Bailey with him as well. And also a big thank you to Mark Elliott. Uh, these folks are just they open their doors and they've they they've given us what we need you did it <laughs> look at this <laughs> bill's already uploaded five dollars to the cause <laughs> very good <laughs> gotta got to lead by example gary <laughs> there you go that's the way it works so um sitting next to bill is uh, another good friend of mine russell Kling. russell good morning good morning gary i'm so glad that you were able to come down here today We've been uh, we've been coming down here for I, I I don't know if I was here the first year or not but I, th- I know we've been I've been coming down here for years and years. Oh, and years. I know. I think you were on 
on my show the first year. I think it was on the was show. On the air. So, so that, that's that been 10 years now. I can't believe it. <laughs> time flies. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I started the show about the time Rhea and Christine were starting the Dragonfly Foundation because wow. Rhea was on my very first show. No kidding. Yeah. yeah and I've got the video of that, too. That was, that was hilarious to go back and watch those. <laughs> but... Um, yeah, so um, I'm so grateful that uh, she comes in and calls, and she will be calling in about nine forty-five this morning. And that's but, a lot of dedication for her to do it every week. Yeah, she wherever she—I mean, sometimes she's in Chicago or or New York or wherever she's at, and she'll she'll call. And if she can't make it for some reason, she'll have Bill call. <laughs> and one time, I remember, she was going to have you call in, and you showed up. Yep. You said, no, I don't want to call. I want to just be here in person. I said, well, okay, come on in. <laughs> yeah, I love that. I look forward to this every year. That's great. That's great. So um, the big question, you ready for Christmas? You know, normally I'm, I'm ready for Christmas this time. You know, everything's done, wrapped, and all that stuff. But uh, for some reason this year, we're just behind. and. Uh, well, hopefully, That's okay. hopefully this weekend we'll get caught up and yeah. uh, be ready to go. But you know, the, the Christmas season, everybody gets so wrapped up in the into the buying and getting of gifts, and, and that's not what Christmas is about. You know, not no, uh, not really. Christmas is about making someone else feel good, and every day should be Christmas. <laughs> you now, every day should be Christmas. But um, you know, do you have any family traditions? You know, the the biggest one is always Christmas morning is, uh, you know, after opening up uh, the gifts and uh, that Santa brings and um, cooking a huge breakfast. It's just it's uh, yeah. normal. It just you, you get the the uh, blueberry pancakes and the sausage and bacon and, you know, just the, uh-huh. all works. Just cook it all up and then you sit around all afternoon and because <laughs> you can't you can't move much after right that. right how but, about you bill you have any family traditions we've got some incredible traditions and a lot of them but uh my favorite is uh that uh my wife's uh side of the family they have a huge get together with all their cousins and everyone brings a side dish and um the highlight of that event is that we sing the 12 days of christmas oh, okay. and everybody participates okay and it's a blast. All right. I'll up you one. Why don't you get your smartphone out and upload a video to Facebook? Oh, yeah. No, I mean... I, w- I will. No, I'll, abs- I'll absolutely do of that. your family doing the 12 I'll, days of I'll, Christmas. I'll absolutely do it. Yeah. Because then all your families and friends that aren't there, they can chime in. But we probably have 50 or 60 people there. So wow. you're, so it's groups of you know four or five singing each line. Oh, okay. So yeah. we kind of move it around the room. Cool. And- all right. So there you go. Yeah, we do. Um, well, my three daughters, I have two that play flute, one plays clarinet, my granddaughter plays flute, my grandson plays saxophone, and then I'm on saxophone. So the six of us get together, and we we play Christmas carols nice. on Facebook. And it's, nice. th- this will be our fourth or fifth fourth or fifth year doing that. That's and, cool. Uh, yeah. So, but yeah, so set your phone or your iPad up and, and uh, do a video feed on facebook you have it that the, the party's going to be this weekend so yeah. i will uh, make sure i email you that all right good deal russell you have um uh you have a veteran in your family don't you my father yes your he's dad. uh he was in the during the he served during the korean war um so he is you know retired of course um 85 years old still just sharp as a as a whip and um um just a great you know i'll be going up to see him probably tuesday uh, you know, we usually do the um, Christmas Eve with at him, at a, with the family up at his house. So yeah. looking forward to getting up there. And you most recently uh, moved to a new position at a different bank. You're with Home Savings Bank. Home Savings Bank. Uh, we're based out of Youngstown, Ohio, but we've recently merged with uh, First Federal up of, of uh, the Midwest out of Defiance. So most of our branch activity is uh, the northern part of Ohio, but we have to start a, a start some kind of a pool of, uh, and and put some money on uh, the, with the names. The of new the name, name. <laughs> we don't, there's been a lot of guesses, you know, uh, you know, combining the two names or if they're going to come up with a, a brand new name, who knows? Mm-hmm. But uh, kind of looking forward to that, and then we'll get uh, we'll get on the show and announce uh, what we do and 
uh, be what the makes big us splash, yeah, big splash of what uh, you know what we do and what makes us uh, so good. Absolutely, I'd like to express my gratitude to all the troops, the veterans, and the first responders. These are the men and women who selflessly strive to keep our nation, city streets safe and free. If you're out and about and you see somebody in uniform, by the way, tell your dad thank you for your service. Give them the thank you sign from afar. Let them know that we appreciate everything that they do. They just don't get enough. <laughs> back from us for everything that they do for us it's incredible incredible and um so i'm so grateful for each and every one of that we're talking police medical uh fire departments uh army navy national guard uh marines i hope but i didn't miss any air force they're all fantastic. Um, so it's so easy just to take a, a couple of minutes and if you see them in the line at starbucks or mcdonald's buy their coffee or Pick up their lunch tab. Yeah, and I know. Say and thanks. Yeah, I just say thank you, and they go. They, they light up. They go. Oh, you're welcome. You know, <laughs> it's it just makes their day. It's it's incredible. So do that. Try that today before the day's up. Thank a thank a veteran or a first responder or somebody who's in uniform. Um. So we talked about family traditions. Your new. Oh, we got one minute left. Okay, we got uh, music. So, Russell, thank you for coming down. You're going to stick around for a I while. I am going to stay here for a while. Yes, thank All you, right. Gary. Bill, you're going to stick around because you're going to come am. back on at 9 o'clock. I am. Uh, we need to go away for our first break. When we come back, more friends and more holiday festivities on the Rock and Roll Real Estate Hour on the flagship station for FC Cincinnati Soccer on WDJO 1480, now FM 995 and 107.9. Sung by a choir Folks dressed up like Eskimos Why rent when you can own with no money down? If you're looking to become a first-time homeowner in the Cincinnati or northern Kentucky areas, or heck, even if you haven't owned a home in the past three years and are now looking to buy, you may be eligible to receive up to $15,000 in homeowner's assistance towards closing costs, pre-closing expenses, or even your whole down payment. That's right. You can own your own home with no money down. Find out if you qualify. Call Gary at 513-777-2402. That's Gary at 513-777-2402. Why not spice up the holidays with this area's authentic, locally sourced, made-from-scratch Creole cuisine? Brew River Creole Kitchen. Under the tutelage of Emeril Lagazzi, Chef Michael Shields has learned the secrets of genuine Creole cooking and prepares at night every Tuesday through Saturday, along with a Southern-style brunch on Saturdays and Sundays. You'll come in for the food, but you'll be sure to stay for the live music featuring jazz, standards, and, of course, ragtime. With the holidays upon us, make reservations for breakfast with Santa, 10 Mike Little, you're watching on Facebook. Thank you, my friend, for uh, for being on there and saying hi. And my daughter, Stephanie. Hey, Steph. Um, Gammy's wearing her elf's hat without the bells. Tell Brinley. <laughs> She'll know what we're talking about, I think. <laughs> Anyhow. I'm going to plug you back into the studio feed. Subscription required. See website for full details and important safety information. Hey guys, good news. The outrageously expensive little blue pill is now generic, which means you can get the prescription medication to treat ED at affordable prices. And Hims makes it extra affordable. You pay just 30 bucks for a month's supply. And right now, get your first online doctor's visit totally free when you go to forhims.com slash joy. That's right, free, zero copay, no expensive appointments, no awkward face-to-face conversations to get your prescription. Hims connects you to doctors online who can evaluate you and, if appropriate, prescribe your ED medication. And a pharmacy sends it right to your door. Hims makes it affordable, private, and incredibly easy. Nobody likes dealing with ED. Now, thanks to Hims, nobody has to. And that's really good news. To start your free online visit, you need to go to this exclusive address, 4 slash joy. That's 4 slash joy. Joy for your free online visit. F O R H I M S dot com slash joy. Dr. Peck does tremendous work for his patients in the cosmetic dentistry. We took some care in selecting a natural color to my face. It looks good, but it functions very well. Getting a smile that I feel is natural has been a worthy investment. Dr. Peck is talented in cosmetic dentistry. For your own beautiful new smile, call Dr. Fred Peck at 513-621-7666 or visit PeckSmiles.com. I'm Jack, and I love my new smile. 
You know, it's easy to turn your unwanted, broken, or unused gold and silver jewelry and coins into needed cash. Gold and silver class rings, wedding bands, and coin collections can all be turned into needed cash fast at Franklin Street Coin Company in Evendale. They are paying more because they buy more. Get the highest prices available fast at Franklin Street Coin Company, a proud sponsor of Ohio State Sports. Go Buckeye! Hey, thanks for staying with us, ladies and gentlemen. I you know you won't regret it. I'm your host, Gary Rosano of Remax Preferred Group, better known as Cincinnati's Rock and Roll Realtor, and we'll explain that later on in the show. But right now, let's uh, do that trivia question one more time. Uh, if anybody's listening, call 513-563-1480 and just name for me two of the 12 most recorded Christmas songs. That's that's pretty easy. Yeah. Two of the top 12 Christmas songs that were recorded. You get yourself a $10 gift card to Starbucks or you can choose a $50 off for a full truckload discount at Junk King. How's that? Boy, that's that's Right after Christmas, you need Junk King. I'm telling you what. <laughs> yes, you do. I mean, that is that is a definite fact. Mm-hmm. I can't believe what a hoarder you become after Christmas uh, for a couple yeah. months figuring out what you need to for, make room for and what you need to get rid of. For real. Yeah. This is my, I added it up, this is my ninth annual Christmas show. Wow. Hmm. For the Dragonfly Foundation. Do, now, do you remember, I remember the first couple of them were so small, mm-hmm. you know, they, they you know, Compared to relative, compared to now, right. I remember getting here early, helping wrap presents and bringing <laughs> stuff in. It was real exciting, and yeah. then and now, I mean, what it's become, Gary, yeah. and all the guests and everybody else that supports it, and how big Dragonfly has become, uh, right? From when you started working uh, with them nine years ago, all right? Yeah. It's an amazing thing. We got a guest uh, caller here. Uh, good morning, Tim. Good morning. Hey, how are you doing, my friend? I'm fabulous. How are you? I'm so glad you called in. This is uh, this is my friend Tim Burgess, and uh, you live uh. up in uh, you live up in Fairfield Township. Now you need to give out your address. The, the address is 6124 Tyler Point Drive, and the zip code is 45011. So if you go up there tonight around 6, 6.30 and you turn the corner on Tyler Point Drive, you can't miss the house because it lights up the neighborhood. Probably 100 million watts of lighting emitting from the corner of Tim Burgess's residence. Would the Griswolds be proud? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. This is, this is an absolute, probably one of the finest, most exotic... And I mean exotic in in a very sweet way because he has shopped all over the world for the lighting system that he puts in his yard. So write that address down. Give us that address again one more time, Tim. Sure. 6124 Tyler Point Drive, 45011. And, Gary, it's people like you that inspire us to continue to do this. And what you do at this radio show for the Dragonfly and for the kids is just absolutely spectacular. And because of what you do, we were inspired a few years back to start doing something even more here at our Christmas display. So tonight, uh, Santa Claus will be here. Santa Claus will have a wrapped gift for every little boy and girl that comes by. He'll be here for probably 7 to 9. So come on by, have some hot chocolate, watch a movie on the side of the house, and see a really cool Christmas display. There you go. That's that's fantastic. I will probably be there tonight. I look forward to it, Gary. You're such an inspiration to us, my friend. Please Hi. continue the great work that you're doing. You you are too, my friend. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Have a great day. All Merry right. Christmas. All right. Merry Christmas to you too, Tim. That's Tim Burgess with uh, Maximizing Result. He is my coach. Mine too, and and, and Sean's <laughs> coach too. Yeah, right. I feel left out. Now Tim was here a couple years ago, right? Yeah, he in, was in the, yeah. in the office. Mm-hmm. Yeah, great guy. Really. Yeah, yeah, he is. Yeah. He's a super guy. So, um, yeah. So stay with us. This is the ninth annual Christmas show dedicated to Dragonfly Foundation. We've got families with lots of special guests. You don't want to miss the continuation show at nine o'clock. We got uh, Santa's going to be dropping in. I understand. He uh, sent me a text message from the North Pole. He's on his way here. 
Uh, we got some Dragonfly families, and this hour of the Rock and Roll Real Estate Hour is brought to you today by WDJO Radio owner Robert Nolan. Thank you, Robert. Uh, Mr. Gary Stevens, I'd like to say thanks to my producer, Dan Gettelfinger. Assisting him is producer Kevin Kinney and the chief engineer, Bob Flesick, with his beau, Baxter and Bailey. And thanks also to Mark Elliott, too. Um, so, Sean, you yep. are... A brand new, well, almost. Uh, I wouldn't say brand new. You but. <laughs> were brand new about four months ago, but uh, brand news wore off. You're just a newer, younger, enthusiastic realtor. Yes, exactly right. <laughs> and you you haven't given it any negative thoughts whatsoever. No, not a one. Because some it's, folks get a little dismayed. They say, well, I'm going to get my real estate license and... Go out and, and make a lot of money. Yeah, exactly and yeah, right. yeah, yeah. And, I'll tell you, you know, well, and, and I, I didn't have those expectations going in. My expectations were, um, you know, just to... You know, help people where I can. Um, you know, do I, this is my full time career now. Granted, I do have another business also that uh, is providing me income. But um, real estate, you know, the thing I like most about real estate, number one, it's the freedom. So, you know, but I think a lot of people need to understand is that when you do get into this business, it does take a lot of work. Okay, now and let's define freedom. So, uh, this also that uh, is providing me income. But um, real estate, you know, the thing I like most about real estate, number one, it's the freedom. So, you know, but I I think a lot of people need to understand is that when you do get into this business, it does take a lot of work. Okay, now and let's define freedom. So a buyer calls up at uh, at uh, three o'clock in the afternoon and says, "Oh, a new listing just came up. We want to see it at five o'clock." Now, right. how free is that? <laughs> well, actually, it, there is some freedom in that because you know you are free to be able to have that time set aside for yourself to go mm-hmm. do it. One thing I will say though is that those also for new real estate agents, if you are considering it, find yourself a good mentor to. Work work with because mm-hmm. when you come out um, you know there, it, it, if you don't have a plan you know it's hard to um, get yourself going in the right direction so um, you know I was fortunate Gary that you know you, I've known you for 10 years and you said to me hey Sean as soon as I found out you were you know as soon as you found out I was taking my classes you were on the phone with me saying hey you're on my team I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even have a choice but uh, best decision I made uh, to, you know to get involved because uh, you know this way I learn how to do things the right way mm-hmm. and and, uh, and and that's I think every real estate agent that's coming out should do that. Find a mentor, someone that you can work with, um, even if you know, even if it's just for six months. It'll teach you a lot, so right. that way you can try to develop your own strategies, your own your own schedule, um, how to you know do contracts the right way, how to find the right inspectors, the right mortgage people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you have. <laughs> um, but you know, because you know, folks that have been in the industry for a while have good insight as to um, how to help you get your business up and up and running. Yeah, and and the first thing we need to do with with buyers and sellers is make sure that the financing is in place. Absolutely, and that's where Mr. Bob Pape comes in. I, I call you morning, segue. noon, night, late at night, sometimes we, weekends. We do. Yeah, <laughs> we've we've had a couple of clients we've gotten to the finish line this year that required some of those weekend and late night conversations. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and again, you know, my side of things is, you know, similar to what Sean was saying, you know, when you fail to plan, you plan to fail, you mm-hmm. know, is what the most common, yep. you know, sayings right. in our industry is. But yeah, when you talk about freedom, like sometimes, you know, the, there is freedom, but at the same time, we are servants to our clients mm-hmm. in a lot oh, of yeah. ways. And so... Yep. If their schedule dictates that we do something, you know, based on their schedule, then yeah, you have to adapt. And oftentimes mm-hmm. that means working weekends. It or does. that means, you know, taking that application at eight o'clock at night because they work a, a you know, a seven to seven job. You know, I read today. a great story yesterday and it was about a guy that works in a hardware store and he sells things. Somebody came in wanted to buy a drill. Well, he didn't really want to buy a drill, he wanted to drill a hole. <laughs> so uh, a good salesperson to find out what kind of hole did you want to drill, how big, how deep, and, and get them the right tool to the right, get them the hole. Know. They want the hole. They don't want the drill. That's right. Uh, yep. that, that's the way we have to look at everything, that's... too. So I'm so grateful to so uh, you know guys like you, Bob, and <clears throat> Russell Kling, and uh, Mike McCormick. Uh, and then we have John Cordell, Dan Orner. Um. 
John Englehart's going to be on my show next week. Uh, we've got Jack Brindamore. We've got Rich Cox. Uh, we've got, um, well, let's see, uh, Greg Highland and Russell, you know, I said right now, Steve Walls. These are uh, just a handful of the sponsors that are on my show throughout the, the year that support my efforts. And um, your dad is a veteran. He is. Yes. Indeed. Two-time Vietnam. Wow. He's Army? He was Army, yep. Very good. Ranger. When you see your dad next, tell him we said thank you. Amen. I, I will, yeah. Trust me, he has guts I'll never have. <laughs> if I ever heard a bullet whizzing over my head, I'm going to be in the corner crying like a baby. I know it. Yeah. So anyway, if, if you want to, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to say hi to anyone military anywhere in the world, this is uh, broadcast via internet all around the world. So you can just call us at 513-563-1480, and you can shout out to them right here on the Rock and Roll Real Estate Hour. We'll see to it today. If they're tuning in, they'll hear your voice. So don't touch that dial. Stay tuned after these messages for my music history and more holiday festivities on our first hour of the second hour. First hour of our two-hour special, that's it, (laughs) of our ninth, this is our ninth annual Christmas show on the flagship station for FC Cincinnati Soccer, WDJO 1480, now FM 995 and 107.9. With the Vandals. The nation's number one rock and roll oldies review is back with a spectacular New Year's Eve party just for you. Hold me, hold me. Join Stacy, Duke Todd, Mark Barnett, and Steve Moosericks along with returning Vandals favorites Dave Chumley Brumley and Jeff Carmack as they start 2020 with the great oldies you love. Open up your eyes, then you'll realize here I stand with my. Don't sit around this New Year's Eve. Join the Vandells at the Lawrenceburg Event Center. It's just two minutes from the Hollywood Casino in Lawrenceburg. For tickets and information, call toll-free at 866-936-7510. That's 866-936-7510. Tickets start at just $59. For dinner and show packages, start at just $94. Call your friends and bring them along for the party of the year with the Vandells. 866-936-7510. If you currently use CBD oil or would like to learn more, Safe Discount Drugs is your source for high-quality, full-spectrum CBD oils from Ananda Professional. I'm Dan Beebe, owner of Safe Discount Drugs in Covington. Safe Discount Drugs proudly offers a full line of Ananda Professional CBD products. Safe, natural, and 100% legal in Kentucky, Ananda CBD oils are a full-spectrum hemp extract from 100% U.S.-grown hemp. We even offer THC-free options. Save Discount Drugs has also partnered with Ananda to offer a customer loyalty program. Buy nine bottles and get the 10th for free. So stop by and see us for your CBD needs or give us a call at 859-431-2857 to learn more about CBD. Save Discount Drugs is located four doors north of the Madison Theater at 716 Madison Avenue in downtown Covington. That's Save Discount Drugs, 859-431-2857, or check us out online at savediscountdrugs.com. For your next catered event, choose Vonderhaar's Catering. Vonderhaar's offers catering services, and the Vonderhaar's culinary team will create the menu to suit your needs. From casual to elegant buffets, to sit-down dinners, for weddings, corporate events, and all special occasions, you'll be glad you chose Vonderhaar's Catering. Voted Cincinnati's Best Caterer by Cincinnati Magazine. Phone 518. 515-1969, 554-1969. Visit Vonderhaars.com. Need a terrific gift for someone special in your life? Then you need to come to Covered Bridge Antique Mall. There you'll find unique treasures of a time gone by, all lovingly collected and chosen to delight you. Start your Christmas shopping now. Covered Bridge Antique Mall, 7508 Hamilton Avenue, one quarter mile north of Ronald Reagan Highway, in the heart of Mount Healthy. There you'll find wonderful treasures from the past that make a fantastic present. Merry Christmas.
Christmas music history. So here's what happened. On Christmas Day back in 1954, Bing Crosby's White Christmas entered the Billboard pop chart for the 11th time. Bing's rendition has sold, get this, over 100 million copies around the world, with at least 50 million sales as singles. It was the largest selling single in music history until it was surpassed by Elton John's Cradle in the Wind. <laughs> Today in 1964, what a great Christmas show this must have been. They had the Supremes, Marvin Gaye, the Temptations, the Miracles, Stevie Wonder, and the Marvelettes all appeared at the Fox Theater in Brooklyn, New York. And this is the Temptations, Rudolph red Nose Reindeer. Ah. But on Christmas Day in 1968, Led Zeppelin arrived in the United States for the very first time in preparation for their debut North American tour. The group was paid an average of $1,500 for each show. Of course, down through the years, I'm sure they more than made up for it. Plus, a couple weeks ago, Hot Wheels released five special edition cars honoring the legendary rock band. (laughs) They have paint jobs inspired by the band's first four studio albums and the 1975 tour. Ah, there he is. Golden voice. On Christmas 1976, American. American singer Johnny Mathis was at number one on the singles chart with When a Child is Born. And it was his only UK number one, but it was the Christmas hit for 1976. And he keeps on going. Man, he is fantastic. I think March 18th he'll be in Cincinnati, and I'll be there. to put these two together. Back in 1982 on Christmas Day, David Bowie had a number three hit with a duet with guess who? Bing Crosby. <laughs> with Peace on Earth. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. This is Michael Jackson and Paul McCartney together. Uh, they came out with The Girl is Mine, and that was a number two hit for those two. Then, the year following that, 1982, David Bowie and Bing Crosby hit the market with Peace on Earth, Little Drummer Boy. The single became one of Bowie's best-selling in his career, with a total estimated sales of over 400,000 in UK alone. The Christmas song was written in 1941, while Peace on Earth tune and lyrics written by Ian Fraser, Larry Grossman, and Alan Cohen were added to the song specifically for Bowie and Crosby's recording. From now, see, perhaps we'll see. They do well together. <laughs> Born on Christmas Day in 1946, Jimmy Buffett, the singer-songwriter and the original Parrothead. Uh, in 1977, he had the hit Margaritaville. In 2004, the album License to Kill. And this is his Christmas Island Christmas song. on Christmas Island. Also born on Christmas Day in 1948, country singer Barbara Mandrell. She was named Country Music Association Entertainer of the Year in 1979, 1980, and 1981. And in 1977, had the number one country single, sleeping single, in a double bed. And this is her rendition of Winter Wonderland. What a great voice. Walking in. So there you have it. I hope you had as much fun with these bits of music history as I did researching and reporting them for you today. I am... I am the Rock and Roll Realtor with Remax Preferred Group because I play with the greatest classic rock band, Bluestone Ivory. If you wanted to go to our party at the Marriott for New Year's Eve... Sorry, it's booked. (laughs) 
Awesome problem to have. <laughs> That's right. And this is the voice of my friend, Krista Sills. She is the owner-operator of Sensi Photo Pro. Good morning. And you are the, you did all our promo photos. You were here last year for the, yeah. for the Christmas show and back here again today to yeah. lend a hand and do what you can. Yeah. I love sporting the Dragonfly Foundation and you, of course, too. So it's pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're a, you're an awesome person. I, <laughs> Thank you. I like having a studio full of awesome folks. Um, if anyone, oh yeah, yeah, speak right into the microphone. Yeah. If anybody would like to say hi to their friend, family member that's in the military, just call us at 513-563-1480. You can shout out to them because this show is being broadcast all over the world on on oldies1480.net or .com, one of the two. Google it. You'll find it. We're there. I have warming up in the uh, production studio. we got members of the North Cincinnati Youth Orchestra under the... Uh, uh, direction of Marva Rasmussen. Uh, they were brought down here by my friend and your friend, Gary Rasmussen, the yeah. musical insurance guy. Yes. <laughs> so we're going to have just a good old time here this morning. So um, this hour of the show is brought to you by WDJO Radio. Owner Robert Nolan is very gracious to give me this hour. Uh, along with Gary Stevens, the station manager, I'd also like to thank my producer, Dan Gettlefinger. Assisting him is Kevin Kinney and Chief Engineer Bob Flesick with Bo Baxter and Bailey. Did you see Bo Baxter and Bailey out there? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I did. They're so cute. cute. They're, <laughs> they're so great. I had to give them a little pet on the way in. <laughs> so tell us real quick about uh, Cincy Photo Pro. Yeah, yeah. Fin- Cincy Photo Pro has been around for, we've been around for about nine years. Um, and uh, our main focus is helping uh Companies create the visual content that they need to attract their ideal customer. So commercial photography, real estate photography, portraits, that sort of thing. You're, you'll do wedding receptions yeah, too? Yeah, so we do weddings and family portraits as well. Okay. Um, uh, but yeah, the, just the main focus is the commercial stuff. So I do There's limit so them. many f- wedding photographers exactly. out there. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, and there's uh, so much talent out there. Um, so, yeah, we, we do um, the weddings and stuff like that. We just do it on a limited basis. Mm-hmm. So, right, yeah. right. But you really, so if you've got a small, medium, or large business and you want some better imagery yeah if you're updating your website um you know doing promotional materials or billboards anything along those lines we can come in and um, get a game plan together before we come in um so that we can take the photos that are going to represent your company the best way um and then be able to utilize those photos for your promotional materials yeah so this morning you're going to focus on getting these kids in the cincinnati north north cincinnati youth orchestra yes and uh some of the dragonfly folks and you'll capture i know santa's on his way he'll be here any time now yeah we'll get some good photos of him and Mm -hmm. if the families are okay with it we just get their permission take their photos but if they're okay with with it, then we'll uh, we'll we'll send them to the Dragonfly Foundation. Let them publish them however they want to. Exactly. Yeah. Good deal. That's mm-hmm. great. I'm so happy that you came down here. Thank you. Uh, this morning to help us out. Um. So uh, you, you know Gary Rasmussen from a du- couple of different um, uh, networking groups. Yeah, uh, mainly we're in a BNI networking group um, that I've been involved with almost five years now. Um, so we've been in that same group together. So mm-hmm. I see him almost every single week. That's, <laughs> so that's a cool. big group. Yeah, there's um, over 70 members now. Wow. And we always have guests as well. It's a great group. Um, if yeah. you're looking to network, it's a great group to yeah. um, visit. Most BNI groups are around 15 or 20 members. Yeah, anywhere from 15 to 25 are probably the average. Okay. Yeah. yeah uh, and around that's the huge. Same. Yeah. We have, a, we have a great group of people there, um, and we pass a lot of business. Mm-hmm. Uh, but we, we're more than just passing business and referrals, or, or we become a family. It's, it's, everybody's there for one another. If anybody has an issue, um, we just send an email, or we have people we can call, and they're there to help and support us. So that's the main part. Very cool. That's great. Yeah. Yeah, and that's uh, that's in any organization you're with, uh, you know, with Remax Referred Group, um, mm-hmm. we're that way too. We have about 150 some agents, and um, I reached out about a week and a half, two weeks ago about the show, and we immediately adopted three families. Mm-hmm. 
uh, our awesome. office did. And they, um, between them and my regular sponsors, we provided, got the, the kids asked, had wish lists mm. from Santa. And uh, Santa's able to provide the kids with everything that they wanted. That's oh, really cool. that's awesome. I know. Yes. So I just want to shout out to Miles and Christine Beersford and all the agents with Remax Preferred Group, and especially my regular sponsor, the Bob Pape and and um, Russell Kling and uh, Gary Rasmussen here. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> you busy? We're we're getting all lined up with the kids. They are all ready to roll. Okay. We just were told they're going to be on in about what ten minutes? Yeah, about ten all minutes. Right. Yeah. Okay. When we when we go out of this section, uh, we'll bring bring in the next segment with uh, the kids from from there. Great. That's uh, that's Mr. Gary Rasmussen, the music insurance guy. Well, Krista, uh, if anybody wants to get a hold of you. Um, my cell phone is actually the best way. Um, it's 513-324-4206. Um, so you can call or text that or check out CincyPhotoPro.com. That's Cincy with a Y, PhotoPro.com. There you go. Thanks for coming down. Yeah, thank Thanks you. Thanks for what you're doing. I probably won't see you because I'll be stuck in here for the next hour <laughs> and 15 minutes or so. But go do your thing. All right. Sounds All right. good. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks, Krista. So stay tuned. Don't touch that dial. We have more holiday festivities on the first hour of the two-hour special of my ninth annual holiday show for the Dragonfly Foundation. You're listening to the Rock and Roll Real Estate Hour on the flagship station for FC Cincinnati Soccer on WDJO 1480, now FM 995-1079. Christmas, baby, you sure did treat me nice. Merry Christmas, baby, you sure did treat me nice. Yes, you did, man. Gave me a diamond ring for Christmas. Now I'm living in paradise. Well, I'm feeling my own with no money down. If you're looking to become a first-time homeowner in the Cincinnati or northern Kentucky areas, or heck, even if you haven't owned a home in the past three years and are now looking to buy, you may be eligible to receive up to $15,000 in homeowner's assistance towards closing costs, pre-closing expenses, or even your whole down payment. That's right. You can own your own home with no money down. Find out if you qualify. Call Gary at 513-777-2402. That's Gary at 513-777-2402. Doverwood Village, conveniently located in Fairfield Township, features assisted living suites that allow maximum independence while receiving necessary assistance with daily activities. Doverwood Village's memory care provides a soothing environment with specially trained staff members to care for loved ones with Alzheimer's, dementia, and other challenges. Therapy and rehab at Doverwood Village delivers a high-tech, motivational environment to maximize progress and minimize recovery time during a short or long-term stay. And Doverwood Village Nursing Care Services are offered in a warm, loving environment where highly trained staff care like family, treating each individual with kindness and compassion. Learn more about Doverwood Village. Call Jane at 513-748-2683. That's 513-748-2683. Or visit hillendale.com. I'm John Englehart, mortgage loan officer with Huntington. Are you a renter, tired of paying somebody else's mortgage and have nothing to show for it, think you can't buy a home? How do you know? One way to find out is to talk with me. At Huntington, we do free pre-approval so you'll find out what you can afford and what steps you'll want to take next. Call me at 859-342-2512. That's 859-342-2512. NMLS number 532226. The Huntington National Bank is an equal housing lender member FDIC. Dimples. Dings, dents, dang it, dimples, dings, dents. Dang it. There's just no way around it. Own a car and someday you'll need a body shop. From minor touch-ups to major mess-ups, the name you need to remember is Mount Healthy Auto Body. 521-8600. From dimples and dings to... 
Intensive care. They'll take care of everything for you. Keep the name and the number handy. Mount Healthy Auto Body, 521-8600. Twas the holiday season, and in your garage, a brand new John Deere. That's not a mirage. With neighbors admiring your shiny new ride, it's your year for a deer to fill you with pride. So if additional offers are what you desire, see our low rates before they expire. Now start up your engines and drive out of sight. New John Deere equipment for all and to all. A good night. Make it your year for a deer. See your John Deere dealer today to discover more amazing deals and attractive financing offers. Uh, get on. Let's rock the house. Hey, thanks for staying with us. You're listening to the Rock and Roll Real Estate Hour, the first of two hours for the Dragonfly Foundation at uh, 9 o'clock. We're going to have, I heard Santa Claus is going to be showing up here just in a short while. We've got a couple families with the Dragonfly Foundation. And right now here in the studio, because at the top of the hour, we're going to have live music from the North Cincinnati Youth Orchestra under the direction of Marva Rasmussen, and I have with me, sitting right next to me in the studio, if you're on Facebook, you can see her. There she is. We'll swing this around so we can pick up her other half. Yeah, I'll scoot in there, Gary. Well, we'll get on this yeah. mic. Oh, you can move that mic right. over. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, All right. That works. Yeah, we're good. There we go. We got the musical insurance guy and his lovely wife, Marva Rasmussen. Good morning, guys. Good morning. <laughs> hey. Good morning. Uh, so, the musical insurance guy, we got to do it. You ready? You join in too. Ready? We, we are farmers. farmers. Bum, 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 bum. Thank you very much. <laughs> Had to do that. <laughs> this is the Rock and Roll Real Estate Hour, yeah, and is. that's as close to rock and roll as we're going to get today, I think. <laughs> I think you're right. <laughs> Although, if we are going to close this hour out with uh, Blue Sun Ivory's rendition of Jolly Old St. Nicholas, which was on the uh, Christmas album by Chicago. No, ah. Didn't know that, but yeah, this is a cool song. But anyhow, we'll get to that in a little bit. And the top of the hour, you're going to be directing for your top members of the North Cincinnati Youth Orchestra. Yes. These are section leaders of the Senior Orchestra, which Ooh. is our top orchestra, the wow. most advanced. Two of them are seniors in high school, and mm. the other two are juniors in high All right. school. So. We're in your... Wailing they're, away. They're, they're warming up right now. <laughs> yeah. We can hear them in the next room. <laughs> All right. Well, this should be really fantastic. So I think this is about uh, five or six years in a row you've been down here with the group. Yes, I think so. We have a different ensemble every time. We kind of have a, a small ensemble that um, we, we need to kick off our December performances. And so mm-hmm. I just carry that ensemble through and we finish with your radio show on the Saturday before Christmas. That's great. I am so grateful and so happy that you do that. It's it's such a nice thing that we can all get together and help the Dragonfly families and the, and the foundation have a, a Merry Christmas. Yes. Yes. It's all about giving back. And, um, you know, it, it's it, it's so simple when, when I think Rhea's on the phone, so we'll bring her on the air here in just a moment. Um, what do we got, about five minutes left, Dan? Have a... A Merry Christmas. Yes. Yes. It's all about giving back. And, um, you know, it, it's it, it's so simple when, when I think Rhea's on the phone, so we'll bring her on the air here in just a moment. Um, what do we got, about five minutes left, Dan? Oh, seven minutes left? Okay, so we'll talk another two minutes. We'll bring Rhea on here in a couple minutes. But something that she says is with a nonprofit organization like the Dragonfly Foundation, doesn't matter how much money you raise, you're never going to have enough. <laughs> yeah, there, there's always opportunity for more. And the Dragonfly Foundation is close to our heart because one of our NCYO families was a, a Dragonfly family. Really? Yes. Okay, very yes. cool. Very good. It's just a fantastic organization. I, I just love everything they do and what they stand up for. They're, they're, it's, it's about, like Bill Kerrigan said, uh, Rhea and Christine know how to stretch a dollar and get the most out of it. <laughs> so that is so cool. <clears throat> I want to tell you, Gary, last 
last Friday, I think it was, I ate the last piece of that pumpkin pie for Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just as good last Friday as it was for, on Thanksgiving. Excellent. Yes, we, say, we gave out, I think it was about 70 pies that day. So our customer appreciation day at the uh, Rasmussen Agency of Farmers Insurance. Yeah, that's huge. That's huge. And oh, yeah, you need to call that lady I talked to you about. Oh, okay. All right. You got to call her like today. Yes. <laughs> so, so I like your shirt, too. Festive. Yes. yes, it is. It is, for sure. All right, so let's uh, bring Rhea Davidson on. Um, you know, the uh, Dragonfly Foundation, that's what this show is all about, actually, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, the Dragonfly Foundation is, um, oops, here we go. It, it supports pediatric cancer families and patients by building a network that connects Dragonfly families to each other and the community providing programs that enhance quality of life, enhancing programs and partner with Children's Hospital. And that's just the tip of the iceberg, what they do. What they do behind the scenes, no one can ever explain it. You have to feel it. You have to be there and see the the, the thrill that's going on on their faces. So um, I always like to have this lady on. She's one of the co-founders. This is Rhea Davidson. Good morning, Rhea. Good morning. How, how is everybody? Happy oh. holidays. Oh, we are just, uh, we're we're doing fine. What you doing, Gary? Oh. Moving over. Yeah, there Getting you go. Getting into <laughs> trouble? No. <laughs> <laughs> Gary's monkeying with my camera. Oh. <laughs> I'll have to slap him. Good morning, Rhea. <laughs> Good morning, Gary. Good Gary morning, and Gary morning, here. Good morning, Bill. Supporting family. Yes. <clears throat> yeah, so... Um, yeah, we had Bill Kerrigan on a little while ago. Um, he was yeah. going, he was going to bring his son down, but his son had the sniffles and thought it would thought better of not coming down today. Good, but, good, good, good. Yeah, we we want to keep keep kids healthy. That's for sure. Exactly right. But uh, the little things that like what Bill's son does at Xavier High School, how they organized uh, volunteers from the high school and go and volunteer at the Dragonfly events. I mean that's. That's so special. Kids. Yeah. Um, and, and Bill's son, Patrick, has really played a key role in that. And also, uh, we mentioned what the uh, Sycamore High School students do uh, every year with their fashion show, how they raise a whole lot of money for the Dragonfly Foundation. And it's all headed up by kids. And, and what they do is just remarkable. Yeah, it's incredible. They raised forty eight thousand dollars so far for Dragonfly. Holy and, cow! Um, yeah, it's just incredible. And um, uh, I'm sorry, the forty eight thousand dollars that they raised was just last year for us. In one year, they raised forty eight thousand dollars, and um, they're they're just so committed. They hold all these fundraisers throughout the year, and it culminates in that fashion show event. Um, they're just amazing, and I love how they're welcoming other student programs from other schools and trying to help them learn, you know, the, the tools of the trade, basically. How do you fundraise? How do you raise awareness? Uh-huh. Um, how can you encourage kindness, compassion, and philanthropy? So. Right. And if you want to find out more about the Dragonfly Foundation, just go to dragonfly.org. And if you really want to see how they do what they do and get the result or what we call the effect Listen to the Dragonfly Effect podcast on their website, and every week, well, about about every two or three weeks, you have a new segment of your Dragonfly Effect, right? Yep. Yep. We try to get about every 10 days, but it's hard, you know, when there's other priorities to, to do. So I, right, yeah. I try to get one out whenever I can. Yeah, it's quite, it's quite a commitment to uh, yeah. to do that and to get the families involved. But um, we got Bill Kerrigan. He just uh, just stepped in. You want to say hi to Rhea? Merry Christmas, Hi, Rhea. Merry Christmas, Bill. Thank you for everything you do for us as a board member, as a volunteer, and as a friend. I love doing it. It's a big he, part of my Christmas. Yeah, he was one of the first ones here this morning. <laughs> oh, good for him. Yeah. I'm Patrick. I said I hope he feels better. All yep. right. Yeah. So anyhow, um, this hour of the Rock and Roll Real Estate Hour is brought to you today by WDJO Radio. They opened the doors for us. Uh, the owner, Robert Nolan, the uh, station manager, Gary Stevens. I'd like to say thanks to Dan Gettelfinger, my producer, and assisting him is Kevin Kinney and the chief engineer, Bob Flesick with Bo and Baxter. And um, 
Bailey, and also thanks to Mark Elliott. Those folks really made this happen. We've got uh, studio crawling with folks. Krista Sills is in here taking pictures. We got the um, four of the top musicians with these uh, North Cincinnati Youth Orchestra warming up. We do need to go away for our end of the first hour. Ria, I love you. Uh, if you can stay tuned, uh, listen what's going on. But if not, we'll have everything documented for you to check out a little later on. If you want I'll, be, to, I'll be on and off for a little while, but I'll definitely be listening. Okay. If you want to call back at 945, that would be great, too. Sure, I could do that. All right, super. That's uh, Rhea Davidson, one of the co-founders with the Dragonfly Foundation. You've been listening to the first of a two-hour special of my ninth annual Christmas show for the Dragonfly Foundation on the Rock and Roll Real Estate Hour with the flagship station for FC Cincinnati Soccer, WDJO 1480, now FM 995-1079. Christmas Eve is coming soon, my dear old man, whisper what you bring to me. Gary Rosignol with Remax of Fur Group, and you're listening to our second of a second hour of a two-hour holiday special featuring lots of special guests. You've been listening to four members of the North Cincinnati Youth Orchestra, headed up by Marva Rasmussen, live here in the studio this morning. Um, yeah, to open things up, that's that's just a real festive way to do things. Today's show is dedicated to the successful work of the Dragonfly Foundation, and I think um, did I hear some jingle bells? 
I heard the, some. Yeah, I heard a ho 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 too. I heard something on the roof. Yeah, yeah, it sounded like reindeers clomping around or something on a roof. I think Santa Claus is here. Where is he? No. No. Oh. Let's go go get him in here if, if he's here. I want to talk to him. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, this hour of the Rock and Roll Real Estate Hour is brought Never to you today. Found. Oh, oh my oh, gosh! Oh. There Merry he is. Christmas! Hey, Santa! How are you? I'm doing fantastic. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Oh my gosh. Well, you texted me the other day and said you were going to come down for the show special. That, that's correct. I wanted to make a test flight to make sure everything's in working order before the big night. That's, that's Although you promised me that it was going to be colder, and it's not so cold right now. <laughs> I don't make the weather. Right? You're from the North Pole. Right. I'm not from the North Pole. I know. I should have brought the cold weather with me, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's what they say. So what brings you into these next little woods about four days before Christmas? Well, I was doing a test flight, and I heard about... The kids from the involved with the Dragonfly Foundation, and I want to make a special trip here just to make sure that everybody is doing well and everything's going really well for them. That's fantastic, great. So you traveling alone this year? I am. I'm traveling alone. Uh, I have my eight reindeer, and then Rudolph, of course, pulling the sleigh. But yeah, it's, sometimes it's good to get away from the elves because they're a little rambunctious this time of year because they've been working about 24 hours a day making toys. So they're a little rambunctious this time of year. Yeah, like uh, like little Brindley, she's a little rambunctious. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're all, this time of year, they're all sugared up and ready to go. <laughs> yeah. uh, Mary Jo had her elf hat minus a bunch of bells. Did you hear about that? <laughs> yes, I did. That's funny. <laughs> she came in and says, look at this. And all the bells were inside the hat. They were on the outside of the hat. And Brindley got a hold of it. <laughs> yeah, she, I heard she's, she's been really good, though, this year. So. Oh, my gosh, yeah. She's so smart. I love all my grandkids, especially my two older ones. They're they're special. Yeah, they are. And they've been extra special and extra good this year. So I think they got some special gifts coming from Santa. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, listen, Santa, thanks for coming down today. Well, thanks for having me. I appreciate that. And uh, what's the uh, what's the market, real estate market like up in up in the uh, North Pole? Well, it's cold, as you know. And so there's not a whole lot of uh, competition up there. So, But if anybody's interested in a giant house with a stable and a toy shop just let me know i might be in the market getting ready like i like to go somewhere warm when i'm not at christmas so you mean like florida yeah exactly <laughs> you know we we talked uh, about this before your your business you're so seasonal you should look into getting your real estate license i should maybe that'd be a good 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 second career for me you can start santa's real estate company up in in the north pole there we go sounds like a good idea <laughs> all right great all right have a merry christmas everybody right. thanks santa merry christmas thanks santa all right that is Santa Claus. He came down just for the Dragonfly kids today. Oh, so grateful for him. So, um, so Bill, you were on the last part of the show. Let's just kind of pick up from there. We, we spoke with Rhea, and this whole event, and I like to call this an event because we start weeks and weeks ago preparing for this. Uh, oh, Zach Geyer. I just got to mention Zach because he's the volunteer. He works at the Dragonfly Foundation. He's the one that uh, got you and the families together and got everybody down here today. Wonderful. Yep. Yep. They they do great work, the people at the Dragonfly Foundation. Uh, yeah. So, and um, your your son is extra special. He's he's headed up a group at uh, St. X High School. That's right. Uh, they actually just uh, started the group a few months ago. Uh, Patrick has been exposed uh, to the Dragonfly Foundation and has been involved in some of their events. Uh, this summer, they had the Get a Fest mm-hmm. uh, over in Covington. Uh, but uh, they kind of raised his hand and said, hey, let's get a group of guys together that uh, volunteer one Saturday a month uh, for the Dragonfly Foundation mm-hmm. and would just do whatever they need done uh, over at the new landing. So... Um, uh, back in uh, October, November, we, it was it was fall cleanup time to rake leaves and do that sort of thing. But uh, we also we'll like to uh, volunteer at their uh, oh. at at all their events. Mm-hmm. So just we just lend a hand whatever they need. Okay, that's amazing. Uh, teenage high school kids wanting to give up a Saturday a month to help out something like the Dragonfly Foundation. You know, and it's not just the kids at St. X. I mean, there there are high school groups across the city that uh, are doing amazing things to help the Dragonfly Foundation, and the kids love doing it. Mm-hmm. I mean, they... Uh, they come out of the woodwork to help, uh, especially when they get aligned to the mission. They understand what it is that we're trying to do to help these great families uh, through what is an extremely difficult time. Mm-hmm. Right. 
And we're not going to get into that today. That's not what this is about. This is about uh, spreading joy and happiness and celebrating, uh, you know, what, what Christmas really is. You know, it, it is the celebration of the birth of, of, of Christ our Lord. And, and we do that through our communities, our community events. It's not about going and buying stuff at stores. Nope. And and you know, there's a little bit of a little bit of Christmas in, in every family, and we need to rejoice that with each other, and and share that love and peace and kindness across the city of Cincinnati, Northern Kentucky, and all over the world. That's what it's all about. It is, and and if you just reach out and help one person today, and you don't have to reach in your pocketbook, you can just give them a big smile. You know, <laughs> you can pay them a nice compliment. Absolutely. And it's, it's um, especially uh, the military, I'd like to express my gratitude to all the troops, the veterans, and the first responders. These are the men and women who selflessly strive to keep our nation and city streets safe and free. If you're out and about and you see somebody in a uniform, give them the thank you sign from afar. Or better yet, go up to them and shake their hand. Just say, thank you for what you do. And and I... I takes no time at all no not at all and you may be a little uncomfortable the first time but when they turn around they say well thank you appreciate that they they really do uh enjoy the the thanks that we give them and it's just uh it's incredible yeah, buy them a cup of coffee if you run into them at starbucks or mcdonald's yeah, or pick wherever up their tab, just pick yeah. up their tab pick right. up the lunch tab exactly exactly so um, if if you're tuning in, listening, our phone number is 513-563-1480. If you have a relative or a friend who's in the military, you'd like to call up and shout out to them, please feel free. We'd love to have you do that. Our show is being broadcast all around the world uh, via the Internet. So if somebody's watching or listening, they'll be able to hear your voice say Merry Christmas to their family member. If you would like to uh, answer our trivia question, I'll shout that out one more time. Uh, name for me two of the 12 most recorded Christmas songs. Dan's got the list here. If you name two of them, uh, we'll give you a $10 gift card to Starbucks. Or if you choose this time of year, right after Christmas, you're going to have a whole bunch of junk that you need hauled away. We'll give you a $50 off for a full truckload from Junk King. Uh, my my friend uh, Jack Brindamore heads up Junk King, and what a great organization they are, and they are they are staunch followers of the Dragonfly Foundation too. They're one of their major contributors. And, Big time. Uh, and Jack and his wife just had twins. Unbelievable. Yeah, I know. <laughs> wow, that's exciting. I've seen them on Facebook. They're about a month old now. So <laughs> well, you might remember, I had a pair of twins here with me last year. My girls. You did. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. Aaron and Grace, they're uh, juniors at DePaul. So oh. Time flies. So, so you got juniors in college. Yep. And, and a, junior I, in high school. A junior in high school. And then my oldest is uh, just took a sales job in New York City. Her name's Carmen. And, wow. Uh, she's uh, she's doing great. Yeah. That, isn't that great? And she have, comes home today. Oh, that's neat. That's neat to have kids that are successful. My oldest daughter, Amy, her and, and Dale just got back from Florida with our grandson who was marching at disney with the oak hills high school band how cool and then uh my daughter stephanie was uh, over at the house with our brinley and adeline uh our two young well our, our second youngest granddaughter which is uh maddie madison and uh, so it's it's we're all going to be together on christmas day and, and our tradition is to get together have dinner or have have a lunch and then um, sit around, feel stuffy. <laughs> and then my three daughters and my um, my two grandkids that play music, we do a the Rosignol sextet in the living room on Facebook. So How right around three or four that? o'clock, tune into my Facebook page. You'll be able to see us perform. And of course, tonight you don't want to miss going out to Tim Burgess's house out in Fairfield. I have to get the address. Um, Tyler Point Drive, I believe it is, uh, in in Fairfield. But uh, it's great, great display. So what's your family tradition? Well, we have a bunch of them. uh, But I think my favorite, uh, Gary, is when 
my wife's family uh, has a big uh, get together out in Okeana, Ohio, and um, we uh, have hors d'oeuvres and some cocktails and just enjoy one another. It's it's nothing over the top. We do a little gift exchange, a white elephant type of gift. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those are fun. those are fun. But the highlight, uh, hands down is the singing of the 12 days of Christmas. Oh, wow. So when you get 60 people together, and very few can sing, um, (laughs) and you sing the 12 days of Christmas, and you split up all the parts, and uh, my father-in-law is always two turtle doves, Uh and uh, Laurie's uncle is always five golden rings. Okay. With a deep voice. Uh And uh, we go around the room, and it's pretty incredible. You gave me a great idea to, uh, to tape that this year, and I'll do it. Yeah. And I'll yeah. send it to you. Yeah. You'll get a, get a just, kick out of it. Yeah, just go live on Facebook. It's a way to do it. Yeah, right. It's so simple nowadays. All right. So that's Bill Kerrigan. He is um, one of the greatest volunteers at the Dragonfly Foundation. He joined them about three years ago and hasn't hasn't looked back and stopped since. We got the kids queued up. They're ready to go. All right, we're going to go out from our first segment into our first break. Um, And we're going to have, um, this is the North Cincinnati Youth Orchestra. We'll let them play for a little bit, do a commercial break, and then we're going to come back and hopefully we'll have a couple Dragonfly Foundation families to talk to. So you're listening to the Rock and Roll Real Estate Hour on the flagship station for the FC Cincinnati Soccer on WDJO 1480, now on FM 995 and 107.9. first-time homeowner in the Cincinnati or Northern Kentucky areas, or heck, even if you haven't owned a home in the past three years and are now looking to buy, you may be eligible to receive up to $15,000 in homeowner's assistance towards closing costs, pre-closing expenses, or even your whole down payment. That's right. You can own your own home with no money down. Find out if you qualify. Call Gary at 513-777-2402. That's Gary at 513-777-2402. Why not spice up the holidays with this area's authentic, locally sourced, made-from-scratch Creole cuisine? Brew River Creole Kitchen. Under the tutelage of Emeril Lagazzi, Chef Michael Shields has learned the secrets of genuine Creole cooking and prepares at night every Tuesday through Saturday, along with a Southern-style brunch on Saturdays and Sundays. You'll come in for the food, but you'll be sure to stay for the live music featuring jazz, standards, and, of course, ragtime. With the holidays upon us, make reservations for breakfast with Santa, 10 till 3 on Christmas Eve, and then bring in the New Year with a special Brew River Creole Kitchen New Year's Eve pre dinner. Dinner created by Chef Michael. For reservations, go to BrewRiverCreoleKitchen.com slash reservations on Eastern Avenue, just off the levee. Brew River Creole Kitchen. It's a taste of New Orleans here in the Natty. Prescription products require an online physician consultation and are only available if the physician determines a prescription is appropriate. Subscription required. See website for full details and important safety information. Hey guys, good news. The outrageously expensive little blue pill is now generic, which means you can get the prescription medication to treat ED at affordable prices. And Hems makes it extra affordable. You pay just 30 bucks for a month's supply. And right now, get your first online doctor's visit totally free when you go to 4 joy. 
That's right, free, zero copay, no expensive appointments, no awkward face-to-face conversations to get your prescription. Hims connects you to doctors online who can evaluate you and, if appropriate, prescribe your ED medication. And a pharmacy sends it right to your door. Hims makes it affordable, private, and incredibly easy. Nobody likes dealing with ED. Now, thanks to Hims, nobody has to. And that's really good news. To start your free online visit, you need to go to this exclusive address, forhims.com slash joy. That's forhims.com slash joy for your free online visit. F O R H I M S dot com slash joy. Dr. Peck does tremendous work for his patients in the cosmetic industry. We took some care in selecting a natural color to my face. It looks good, but it functions very well. Getting a smile that I. dot com slash joy. Dr. Peck does tremendous work for his patients in the cosmetic industry. We took some care in selecting a natural color to my face. It looks good, but it functions very well. Getting a smile that I feel is natural has been a worthy investment. Dr. Peck is talented in cosmetic industry. For your own beautiful new smile, call Dr. Fred Peck at 513-621-7666 or visit PeckSmiles.com. I'm Jack, and I love my new smile. You know, it's easy to turn your unwanted, broken, or unused gold and silver jewelry and coins into needed cash. Gold and silver class rings, wedding bands, and coin collections can all be turned into needed cash fast at Franklin Street Coin Company in Evendale. They are paying more because they buy more. Get the highest prices available fast at Franklin Street Coin Company, a proud sponsor of Ohio State Sports. Go Buckeye! Hey, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Gary Rosignol with Remax Preferred Group, better known as Cincinnati's Rock and Roll Realtor. And this is the second hour of my two-hour special holiday Christmas show. This is my ninth annual Christmas show, actually. And we had Santa Claus here, and he met with the Dragonfly families. And I have with me in the studio... I have a Steve and Brittany McGlone. Hi. Hi. Hello. <laughs> and uh, they have their, they have Bryce and Brennan. Time for the, and this hi. is Brennan. Time for the newest doubles tomorrow. <laughs> Brennan, how old are you, Brennan? Five? Oh, wow. Say five? five? Yeah, five. And you were just telling us that you saw Santa Claus, right? What does Santa Claus bring you? A Triceratop Wampy Yeto. Triceratops Rampage Lego. A, a pack of Pokemon toy with a big Pikachu toy. Pokemon cards with a big Pikachu card. Okay. And last but not least, a Tot Nursery Hatto Place. Last but not least, Tot's Nursery Headquarters Playset. And that is everything you had on your wish list for Santa Claus, right? Oh, my gosh. How do you know that? (laughs) And you're Bryce. Yes. Okay. And how old are you, Bryce? Uh, 14. Okay. Can you scoot right? Yeah. All right. So you guys are brothers. Yes. All right. Fantastic. So um, we're going to see the newest Star Wars movie tomorrow with DOBB or D3 Way. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Okay. So, um, and you are a dragonfly. Mm-hmm. What does that yeah. mean? I get to see the new Star Wars movie tomorrow. <laughs> That's what being a dragonfly is. <laughs> what do you think, Brennan? Yay! <laughs> What's Dragonfly Foundation mean to you? Um, oh, yeah. I wait for Brennan to uh, get to have a normal childhood. Anyway, I'm all that with team members going to Disney World and made my own Loopa. <laughs> I think you're going to outdo Anthony. <laughs> Anthony's been my star. I think he's out there, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, we'll have them on here pretty soon. So um, we could uh, talk a little bit with uh, Steve and Brittany. Uh, when, when did you... Come in contact with the Dragonfly Foundation. I need you. We were actually, he was diagnosed when we were in Arkansas, and there was no dragonfly. Um, we came out here. This was home as soon as we could, as soon as treatment I, I allowed. Mm-hmm. And, um, put those on. 
Christmas. We got Dragonfly about four or five months into treatment, mm-hmm. and it was when he was in a bubble, couldn't do anything, and they just allowed things to be done that he otherwise wouldn't have been able to participate in. Like, uh, what? what like what? So, um, when, um, so with his treatments, he's uh, he has a compromised immune system. So mm-hmm. we can't even go to the grocery store. We can't go to. Uh, you can't go out shopping. You can't really do anything. So, what Dragonfly actually helped us with is they had tickets in a. They, un- they understand what these kids go through, um, and they they would get tickets to a, a suite where there's nobody else around. So mm-hmm. it's, uh, it's uh, you know kid friendly. It's uh, germ friendly. Um, and otherwise, we would we wouldn't have been able to like even come out and do things like this. Mm-hmm. Um, he's at a stage in his treatment now where we can take him out and about. But during the that first nine months, uh, we really couldn't. Mm. Wow. Okay. And they they include not just him and you guys, but the whole family. The whole, right? family. The whole family. Yeah, that's right. Gets to do a lot of neat things and and stay together. That is cool. That is cool. So um, does. Rhea and Christine personally get involved with... Oh, we've seen Rhea, I don't know, both of them, but Rhea for sure many times. Um, when they have done, they did the photo shoot this summer for a couple brands that were doing donations to mm-hmm. Dragonfly, and the kids were the models, and they were out there taking photos with the sunglasses, socks, and the t-shirts. And the big signs. With the big signs that you see, some of them are around town, and their Facebook um, banners and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Their their new um, uh, their their new thing is just says Dragonfly mm-hmm. on the big billboards. If you're driving around Cincinnati, you'll see the big mm-hmm. Dragonfly the big billboard. Blue and gold. Yeah. Um, so if you want to help the Dragonfly Foundation right now, ladies and gentlemen, you can do that. Just text the word WINGS15 to 71777, and you can just $5 is all, all we ask for, $5. If you, want to, if you want to donate more, you can do that as well, but $5 will, will definitely be so helpful to help them help the families with um, – with what their plight is, and they have served. Bill, you know how many families they've served so far? Well, with us, we have six. Five thousand. About five thousand yeah. families. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. growing all the time. It's amazing, and it all stays in this area. Yeah, but being one of five thousand families, you you don't feel left out at all. <laughs> Not at all. Yeah. And- can I say one of the things oh, that yeah, they please. do at the hospital, which is we've seen it. We didn't have it because we were in a different state at the time. Um, but the new patients, Dragonfly brings a big, giant bag of goodies of toothpaste, brushes, um, notebooks, pay, uh, everything you can possibly think of that that you didn't think of that you need. Mm-hmm. When they tell you head to the hospital, just pack mm-hmm. clothes for a couple days. Well, that couple days is a bit more than a couple days, and you didn't bring anything. Uh So that was a huge thing that to have gotten that at initial diagnosis is huge. It's just so helpful. Uh, Wow. Yeah, I've heard about that bag, that big blue bag, and they try and think of everything that you might need. It is absolutely Mm -hmm. fantastic. And they, they have things in there that, you would never have even thought of. Like laundry detergent? Yeah, but after the fact, it's like, oh, man, if I would have had that, it would have been so much easier. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, okay, see, so this is Bryce. Brennan. Brennan, okay. Bryce, so you're 14? Yes. Okay, what what year school are you in? Uh, Anderson High School. Anderson High School? What, what are you? a Freshman. Freshman, okay, great. You have any particular studies you know where you want to go after you get out of high school um Which college f- with uh some computer science is uh, a computer science program yeah that's that's a good good industry to get into today <laughs> everything's going look at this <laughs> this whole show is run on computers you know we're we're going on facebook on computers and thank you facebook fans for tuning in this morning we are, really appreciate that so um 
This has been uh, Brennan and Bryce, uh, brothers, and uh, Steve and Brittany. Uh, you've been with Brian the Dragonfly and Foundation and with Dragonfly. how many years now? It's a year, year, year and a half. Year. A year and a, about a year and a half. year and a half, okay. And somebody contacted you and said, we want you to go down and be on this radio show. <laughs> they put in for it, yeah. When we, the first ones that we, um, when we moved back to town, the first ones that we had contact with were Dragonfly. Mm-hmm. Um he got a box and in the I mail. I love Dragonfly. With, you love Dragonfly? He got a box in the mail with just a bunch of fun things that he opened, and it's it was at a point where it wasn't mobile. He wasn't mobile. He wasn't out and about at all, mm-hmm. and it was just a smile. Mm. It was so nice to see a smile. Mm. That is so cool. That is so cool. How much time do we have, Dan? Oh, Okay. Thank you guys for coming down. Thank you all so much yes, for everything. You. We cannot thank you enough. This has been amazing. Well, thank the uh, station manager, Gary Stevens, on the way out. And Absolutely. and Bob with the... Uh, do you like those poodle dogs? Yes. Which one was your favorite? <laughs> um, I think that's my oh, little, little one. <laughs> that's my one and my yeah. very favorite. <laughs> Bye. All right. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for coming down. We need to go away for our, Thank you so much. our first break. When we come back, uh, we're going to. Okay, we're going out with live entertainment. This is four of the top musicians with the North Cincinnati Youth Orchestra live in our production studio. So let's listen to them and have a couple of commercial breaks, and we'll come back with more fun stuff on the second hour of my two hour special, the ninth annual holiday special on the Rock and Roll Real Estate Hour on the flagship station for FC Cincinnati Soccer WDJO 1480 now on FM 995 and 107.9. number one rock and roll oldies review is back with a spectacular new year's eve party just for you hold me, hold me. join stacy duke todd mark barnett and steve moosericks along with returning vandell's favorites dave thanks for staying with us facebook friends this is a um kind of a free-for-all today we had one family in here we've got um now, the, uh, in the past couple of years, the star of the show, Anthony, with his sister, Bella, will be here. That guy, oh my gosh, look how big he's getting. He's back. <laughs> For tickets and information, call toll-free at 866-936-7510. That's 866-936-7510. Tickets start at just $59. For dinner and show packages, start at just $94. Call your friends and bring them along for the party of the year with the Vandells. 866-936-7510. If you currently use CBD oil or would like to learn more, Save Discount Drugs is your source for high-quality, full-spectrum CBD oils from Ananda Professional. I'm Dan Beebe, owner of Save Discount Drugs in Covington. Save Discount Drugs proudly offers a full line of Ananda Professional CBD products. Safe, natural, and 100% legal in Kentucky, Ananda CBD oils are a full-spectrum hemp extract from 100% U.S.-grown hemp. We even offer THC-free options. Save Discount Drugs has also partnered with Ananda to offer a customer loyalty program. Buy nine bottles and get the tenth for free. So stop by and see us for your CBD needs or give us a call at 859-431-2857 to learn more about CBD. 
Safe Discount Drugs is located four doors north of the Madison Theater at 716 Madison Avenue in downtown Covington. That's Safe Discount Drugs, 859-431-2857, or check us out online at savediscountdrugs.com. For your next catered event, choose Vonderhaar's Catering. Vonderhaar's offers catering services, and the Vonderhaar's Culinary Team will create the menu to suit your needs. From casual to elegant buffets, to sit-down dinners, for weddings, corporate events, and all special occasions, you'll be glad you chose Vonderhaar's Catering. Voted Cincinnati's Best Caterer by Cincinnati Magazine. Phone 513-554-1969. 554-1969. Visit Vonderhaar's.com. Need a terrific gift for someone special in your life? Then you need to come to Covered Bridge Antique Mall. There you'll find unique treasures of a time gone by, all lovingly collected and chosen to delight you. Start your Christmas shopping now. Covered Bridge Antique Mall, 7508 Hamilton Avenue, one quarter mile north of Ronald Reagan Highway, in the heart of Mount Healthy. There you'll find wonderful treasures from the past that make a fantastic present. Listening to members of the Cincinnati North Youth Orchestra, and they are just man, they are fantastic this morning. I'm so grateful for Marva Rasmussen for coming down. All right, my name's Gary Rosignol. I am the rock and roll realtor with Remax Preferred Group, and this is the second hour of my ninth annual Christmas show for the Dragonfly Foundation. Uh, we had um, a family in here. We had the McGlone family in the last segment, and now I have the. I never get your names. Let me try. Scogletti. Scaletti. The Scaletti. G, the G is silent. Scaletti. Scaletti. Thank hear, you, Anthony. I can hear myself. And that's Anthony and his twin sister Bella. <laughs> oh no, I was I wasn't in character. I didn't have my ex. I didn't have my uh, impression. <laughs> He's he's ready to do impressions on the radio <laughs> for 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 specific reasons. Yeah. So Jamie, how are you doing? Good. How are you? This is what our fourth time on on the show. Yes, I think yeah, so. Yeah. Can you talk right into the oh. microphone? Yep. Yeah, it's our. It, it is. Great. All right. And Bella, come on in here, Bella. She's not really much of a talker. Well, but I. You guys are just growing up like you were so young four years ago when you, you were in here. And she still doesn't talk, but you're still the star. Right, Anthony? Yes. Yes. All right. So, yes, I am still the star. Uh, but I have Bella um, just this year is um, five years cancer-free. So. Fantastic. All right. Woo-hoo. Woo! I Congratulations, bet. Bella, my sister. That's got to be that's got to be a feat. That's yes. Great. So yes. now... Oh, geez. Life goes on. Yeah, I mean, you know, you learn to live with it, and now you learn to live without it, and it's just it, it's just the way things are. But yep. the glue that held everything together was dragonfly. Yes, I think you know definitely um, we got to do a lot of nice things and have a lot of joy during that time, which could be a really dark time. So mm-hmm. It was really great. And now five years clean from cancer, mm-hmm. you're still. Part of the Dragonfly family? Exactly. Why is that? Um, How does that work? You know, we met so many nice people and um, so many, like, I think when you're in a situation like this, um, a lot of people think that they can sympathize and relate, but unless you actually are going through it, um, it's hard to know what it's like. And so I think just being around other families that have the same experience is really valuable. So the, the doctors and nurses who have all the medical answers and help you get to where you are here but they don't really understand do they no what goes on in here exactly yeah. exactly and the folks who does not that do not have the medical experience and can't treat medically they do know what's going on in here exactly and i think you know honestly um i think a lot of a lot of it is the power of your mindset and have you know so if you're in a dark place and you're not you're not having joy come into your life i think that you're going to have bad, worse outcomes as far as health wise so i think having an organization like this to bring joy into your life and you know spread some happiness you mm-hmm. know can only be a positive thing yeah 
So if you think back, you know, five years ago when things weren't as pleasant as they are now, uh, they always had smiles on their face. Yes. Yes. That was their goal was to spread joy and, 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 and peace and ha- happiness. Yes. That's, that's unbelievable to have an organization that will achieve such success. And um, so this morning, I, th- I think, was, was Santa Claus here? Santa was here. Yes. Yes, yes he was. Wow. D- did, did you get some things on your wish list? Did Santa Claus know exactly what you were looking for? Well, what I did get is that I got two Star Wars figures. And one thing I w- that I've been wanting is I've been jealous because my brother Dante had Dungeons and Dragons, and mm-hmm. I'm a big fan, and I'm a huge nerd about Dungeons and Dragons. Okay. I even have a book from Dungeon for Dungeons and Dragons at my house, and I was surprised that when I opened up my first present, it was a Dungeons and Dragons starter kit. Really? And I'm also a huge fan of Stranger Things, and it was also a Dungeons and Dragons Stranger Things esque starter kit and i was actually really surprised about that and i really liked it wow that's that's fantastic yes i knew so bella how about you tell us a little bit about your experience with santa claus this morning did you get something <coughs> yeah you can talk too um <laughs> i know that's okay it's okay well aren't we all no, you're not at all. <laughs> so, so you came in here with um, what? What's this impression thing you were talking about? Well, uh, uh, I actually can do a few impressions of some characters I have heard about, um, but then some I don't know. So, <laughs> well, I think it'd be best to stick with something you do know. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to try out two impressions, one from a video I watched and one from a video game I play. Okay. First of all, Mario. It's a me, Mario. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. I tried. And it's supposed to be cringe. <laughs> oh, why, Bella? What are you doing? <laughs> You're embarrassing your sister. <laughs> she says, is this really my brother? <laughs> Okay, so... Okay. Uh, and then the next is from an animation I watched. Hello! How are you doing? <laughs> okay, apparently my voice is not working today. I can't say the impressions correctly, because I think I am overwhelmed and not very good at talking on a radio. <laughs> well, you seem to be doing pretty good so far. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Those were my two impressions. I tr- I tried. Apparently, I'm like stuttering a little bit, and That's I right. guess I'm kind of like nervous, which is why my impressions aren't coming out all that well so i guess i'm just like nervous because i'm on the radio and gotcha <laughs> so yeah no problem so jamie what what's uh have you formed any uh family traditions for the holidays um we usually stay at home and um with our immediate family and then um afterwards we'll go out and visit like our extended family and yeah, stuff you were uh, originally from cincinnati um no um my husband's from cleveland and i'm from uh, huntington west virginia Okay, and we but we've lived here for over twenty five years. Oh, okay, all right. So when when you um, when Bella was diagnosed, you were here in Cincinnati at the time. Uh, yes. Okay. Yes, um, right. and we were. It's definitely a great place to be, <laughs> um, with the hospital and Dragonfly and everything. It's a it's a good place to to live in Cincinnati. Yeah. So, so what do you think of the new landing? Um, the new landing, I love it. Um, I haven't actually got to see inside, but I've been to visit the outside, and it looks really great. And the the best thing I think um, is the location, mm-hmm. um, because it's so central to the hospital. Because um, I know that a lot of times, um, n- no matter how great the landing was, it was hard for folks to get out there. To mm-hmm. I think it was out on the Mason area, um, mm-hmm. Field Journal. Right. So, right. so I think the location is going to be great. Mm-hmm. But you. To, to be a member of the Dragonfly Foundation, you don't have to participate in all the activities that go on there. They more or less reach out to you, and they're there yes. uh, 
for what you need when you need it. Yeah, I mean, they actually reach out to you as soon as you enter the hospital and are inpatient. Um, because, you know, the very, one of the very first things I ever got at Children's Hospital was a bag from mm. the Dragonfly Foundation that just had a lot of good stuff in it. I heard um, that, yeah. It had information in it, but then it also had things like, I mean, when you're, when you're living in a hospital, um, you know, it's not like you can just go right out to the store and get things that you want. So they would just have, like, little things, you know, that would be helpful at the hospital for you. And yeah. things you might not even think of until, yeah. you, until you're there. They so. take that so serious, too. Yes. You know, they're, yes. they're very caring about what they put in that bag. Well, great. What do we? How much time we have, Dan? Two minutes. All right, great. Only two minutes? Only two minutes uh. left. And then you're... you're your big radio stardom time is about up, Anthony. No. You... <laughs> All oh right. my gosh, my, my voice. Bell and Anthony, thank you very much for coming down. I appreciate it again this year. Thank you so and, much for and, having and, us. And Jan- we love oh, coming down and seeing you guys every year. Great. So. No great. problem. <laughs> I keep trying to do it. <laughs> You guys can hear how good it is when I'm not on the radio. I, I'll be right back. I'm going to go do my impressions out in the hallway right, for yeah. everyone to hear and see. Right. Okay. Because I just, Ladies and gentlemen, I Anthony I has left the studio. Anthony has left the building. <laughs> All right. Um, this hour of the Rock and Roll Real Estate Hour is brought to you today by GMJ Productions and the Rock and Roll Real Estate team of REMAX Preferred Group. I'd like to say thanks to my producer, Dan Gettlefinger, assisting him as producer, Kevin Kinney, and chief engineer, Bob Flesick, with Bo Baxter and Bailey. And also, thank you, Gary Stevens. We need to go away for our last break. When we come back, more fun stuff with the Dragonfly Foundation, but... In the meantime, enjoy the mu- the live music of members of the North Cincinnati Youth Orchestra performing for us right here in the studio. This is not recorded. This is live. If you're looking to become a first-time homeowner in the Cincinnati or northern Kentucky areas, or heck, even if you haven't owned a home in the past three years and are now looking to buy, you may be eligible to receive up to $15,000 in homeowner's assistance towards closing costs, pre-closing expenses, or even your whole down payment. That's right. You can own your own home with no money down. Find out if you qualify. Call Gary at 513-777-2402. That's Gary at 513-777-2402. Doverwood Village, conveniently located in Fairfield Township, features assisted living suites that allow maximum independence while receiving necessary assistance with daily activities. Doverwood Village's memory care provides a soothing environment with specially trained staff members to care for loved ones with Alzheimer's, dementia, and other challenges. Therapy and rehab at Doverwood Village delivers a high-tech, motivational environment to maximize progress and minimize recovery time time during a short or long-term stay. And Doverwood Village Nursing Care Services are offered in a warm, loving environment where highly trained staff care like family, treating each individual with kindness and compassion. Learn more about Doverwood Village. Call Jane at 513-748-2683. That's 513-748-2683 or visit hillendale.com. I'm John Englehart, mortgage loan officer with Huntington. Are you a renter, tired of paying somebody else's mortgage and have nothing to show for it, think you can't buy a home? How do you know? One way to find out is to talk with me. At Huntington, we do free pre-approval so you'll find out what you can afford and what steps you'll want to take next. Call me at 859-342-2512. That's 859-342-2512. NMLS number 532226. The Huntington National Bank is an equal housing lender member FDIC. Dimples. 
Dings. Dents. Dang it. Dimples. Dings. Dents. Dang it. There's just no way around it. Own a car and someday you'll need a body shop. From minor touch-ups to major mess-ups, the name you need to remember is Mount Healthy Auto Body. 521-8600. From dimples and dings to intensive care. They'll take care of everything for you. Keep the name and the number handy. Mount Healthy Auto Body. 521-8600. Twas the holiday season and in your garage, a brand new John Deere. That's not a mirage. With neighbors admiring your shiny new ride, it's your year for a deer to fill you with pride. So if additional offers are what you desire, see our low rates before they expire. Now start up your engines and drive out of sight. New John Deere equipment for all and two all. All a good night. Make it your year for a deer. See your John Deere dealer today to discover more amazing deals and attractive financing offers. Oh, get off. Let's rock the house. Hey, we have not been rocking and rolling this morning, ladies and gentlemen. We have been holiday festivitying. I just made that word up. Festivitying. <laughs> this is live radio. You're listening to the last segment of the second part of our two hour special on my ninth annual Christmas show. And boy, what it, it just. It's it's flown by. I can't believe it. We're just wrapping things up here, but uh, we've had a couple families of the Dragonfly Foundation in. We've uh, we spoke to. Um, we had just had Anthony and Bella in. We had Bryce and Brennan in, uh, and we have Rhea on on the on the phone here in a moment. We have got Bill Kerrigan. I'd like to thank Russell Kling and. Bob Pape and Sean Dennity and Tim Burgess who called in. These are and Gary Rasmussen and Marva Rasmussen. We're going to close out with the North Cincinnati Youth Orchestra in just a couple minutes. But uh, thank you all on Facebook for staying with us this morning. I appreciate that. And uh, and of course Santa Claus. And last but not least, I can't say enough about my wife Mary Jo. Oh, they did show up. Yeah. All right, <laughs> all right. Come on in. Oh. All right. Who do we have? Jamila. You're Jam. You're Jamila. This is Jamila. That's Jamila. Okay. Hi, Jamila. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. I'm doing great. Love Thanks for coming down. I'm yeah. Danielle. And you're Danielle. Yeah. You're Jamila's mom. I'm grandma. Oh, grandma. Okay. Yay. You look like her mom. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> All right. All Half right. a century. Huh? Yeah. So um, I'll tell Rhea we'll, we'll bring her on in just a moment. So how long have you been uh, members of the Dragonfly Foundation? For about like five. Isn't it like five? Not five years, like three. Twelve. How old are you? I haven't been there since I was 12. How, how long have you been in there? I don't know. You speak right into the microphone, Jamila. About three or four years. I don't know. That's all I can remember. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. That's good enough. So, what what does it mean to you being a dragonfly? It's a good feeling, and it's like I'm proud to be here and proud to be able to make it past of what I was going through. Okay, I had cancer twice when I was a oh. baby, and then when I turned eight. Okay, and now now you're you're totally clean from cancer, right? Yeah, yeah. great. That's fantastic. But you still stay involved with the Dragonfly Foundation. Yeah. Why is that? Um, I don't really know. I think they just, like, let you stay until, I think it's, like, till you're 30 or something, something like that. But mm-hmm. I don't know. No, so why do you continue to go? How does it make you feel when you go and participate with the Oh, Dragonfly? to see how other kids are doing this stuff. Oh, Okay. Try and kind of give back to them a little bit of what they gave to you. <laughs> oh, that's cool. That's great. It's feel good to see other people that, you know, feel like you're not alone. Other people, you know, going through some of the same stuff that you went through as well. Right. And y'all able to identify right. with everything that's going on. Yeah. So you know Rhea Davidson then pretty well, huh? Yes. Do you? We okay. Love Rita. Yeah. You want to talk to Rhea? She's on the phone right now. Is she? Yeah, put the headphones on. <laughs> Miss Rita. Hello. Good morning, Rhea. Good morning. Good morning. I'm I'm loving hearing these interviews. It makes me feel so good. <laughs> yeah, we got we got Jamila and her grandma. What's your name again? Danielle. Danielle. Hello. How are you this morning? Hi. 
Good, Gail. Hi, Jamila. Hey, Miss Rita. <laughs> so I hope everybody's having a great time. It cer- certainly sounds like it from here. Oh yeah, we are, we are, and we appreciate oh. you guys for everything you do. We know, you know, we love you guys, right? I know you guys do, <laughs> and uh, we're so we're so grateful to have the friendship of our families and the support of our of our community that makes the smiles like you're hearing today. Absolutely. We still talking about yeah. the Christmas party we just had last week. Oh, we good. Us. <laughs> that was a blast. It was. <laughs> the but DJ did, was everything. Yeah. But did they have Santa Claus? <laughs> yes, did and they? Mrs. Claus. Oh, there you go. Very cool. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, it was it was one of our best events, I think. You know, it was we tried to switch it, switch it up this year. We had ProSource. They did a um store, on-site store, mm-hmm. where the families could go and shop, in quotes, for, um, you know, holiday gifts for themselves mm-hmm. or for the, their family members and, you know, like for each other. Um, and uh, dancing, dancing was everywhere. Yes, <laughs> so it was. That was, a, that was a lot of fun. All the kids engaging, parents and everything. It was a blast. Yeah. That's yeah. so cool. We appreciate you guys. Uh, and your facility, work. I don't know if you know, but um, we kind of jumped the gun, and we've already had a tour of your new facility up there in one of his. You did? Oh my <laughs> goodness! Well, I'm glad you. I'm glad you had the opportunity. It's going to be open soon in January. Yes, it's hard to believe. I was uh, telling them. I'm ready to move my furniture in there and live in. There. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a success, Rhea. <laughs> and I you haven't, even, so opened yeah. haven't <laughs> even opened yet. Haven't even opened yet. And people tell us that when they walk in the door, just to even pick up tickets. But, mm-hmm. You know, they're already feeling like they're ready to, to just be there and enjoy it. Like and home. Benefit from the programs there. And so yeah. Can't wait. Well, having the three families on this morning, Rhea, I get the same response that uh, they absolutely love you and they love the volunteers at Dragonfly Foundation, even after their uh, their dilemma is beyond uh, being an issue. Uh, they continue to come back because they want to try and help give back to those who are just coming in to reassure them that everything's going to be fine and and yeah. uh, let them know that uh, the Dragonfly Fam- the Foundation is there for them. Uh, the the big blue bag is the resonating uh, cement that holds everything together. They say if it wasn't for that with all the little things, mm-hmm. so, you know, that you, you just don't ever, ever, ever stop doing that. That just makes a, a big difference in the lives of these Dragonfly families. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it and it comes at a time when they're being the most concerned and the most afraid, and you know they they're wondering how am I going to do this? And I think to to have those items where someone understands all that they need. I mean, those things are not thrown together. You know, it's not like we threw our arms on a shelf and took everything off a shelf. It it really was with thought and purpose. And um, you know, we're so. We're, we're so grateful for the support that allows us to do that for them because it does resonate. And then they do know, you know, what to take when and, and that stuff. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, but anyhow, it's, it's been, uh, it's been a great time this morning. Uh, I think Santa Claus was, um, very helpful and very timing. We had, uh, we had, uh, little Brennan was a hoot as well as, um, Anthony, <laughs> Anthony and his impressions, <laughs> which yep. he had to leave the studio and go and do his impressions in the hallway. He didn't come out in the studio for some reason. <laughs> and, uh, well, we so, love all our dragonflies. And I was getting a little, bu- little bit worried about Jamalia. She didn't show, they, they finally got here. I'm so glad that they came. Oh, good. And uh, yeah. that, that makes the whole day a success. Right, Bill? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, good deal. So uh, how much time we got, Dan? Okay, we got about two minutes left. So, And then we got to uh, close out the show. Rhea, thank you very much. Thanking you for giving us this opportunity to help you help them. Oh, thank and you. that's that's what it's all about. We've been uh, planning on this and working on this for the last several weeks. And I think it was a huge success today. Don't you, Bill? Yes. Yeah, Gary, I just, well, you know, on behalf of the, the Dragonfly Foundation, the, the, from the from Rhea and Christine, from the board of directors to all the families and all the staff, uh, I can't tell you how much it means that you do this every year. 
Uh, it gives us tremendous exposure. The kids have an absolute blast. Santa's great. The food's great. The hospitality's just wonderful. And uh, the music's just fantastic. Uh, it means a whole lot to all of us to take time to do it. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Mm. Uh, I have a blast uh, every year. And just a reminder, if you if you don't know about the Dragonfly Foundation, just go ahead and Google dragonfly.org. And uh, there's a lot of great information. Uh, if you'd like to become involved, uh, reach out. We're looking for volunteers. We're looking for people to help us raise funds. We're looking for your time, talent, and treasure. It's not all about the treasure. It's the time and talent as well. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Absolutely. Uh, I just want to wish you and your listeners and all your staff a very Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year, and God bless you for doing this. Thanks, Bill. Thank you. Appreciate that. And I know I, I didn't do this alone by no means. We had uh, Sean Denity working side-by-side with love of my life my wife who she's i i can't say enough about what she does for us but mary joe i love you so much we've got such a great family and i'm looking forward to it so everyone um and don't forget to hug your kids, call your parents, and kiss your spouse every day. Have a blessed and safe week. Tune in. My guest next week will be John Englehart with the Huntington Mortgage. Coming up next is Wesley Adams and the Car Tech Show. And now to finish things out, we got more live music by the North Cincinnati Youth Orchestra. All right. Seven two four zero two for your real estate needs. I want to help you. Here's a big thank you to my regular major sponsors who make this show possible, as well as Remax Preferred Group. A special thanks to WDJO station manager Gary Stevens and my producer Dan Gettlefinger. Also, a big thank you to my clients, friends, family, and fans of Loose and Ivory. Of course, Rhea Davidson with the Dragonfly Foundation, and especially my wife Mary Jo. Until next week, keep on knocking on my rocking houses. So long for now. The preceding program was a paid program. Its views and opinions expressed are not necessarily those of this station or its management. This is the voice of the Buckeyes. Paul Keels. Hear all the action of Ohio State football right here on WDJO Cincinnati. Need oil? No problem. Visit Relodyne.com. Whether it's for your car, truck, or plant, Relodyne has you covered. Relodyne is the region's largest supplier and one-stop shop for all of your lubricant needs and industrial reliability services. Relodyne stocks over 10,000 products. Relodyne is also home for Duramax. Duramax is the fastest growing engine oil in the United States. To learn more, visit Relodyne.com. Again, that's Relodyne.com. R-E-L-A-D-Y-N-E.com. Ring in the new year with the Vandals. <laughs> The nation's number 